Uh, Morgan to base, it's 7.33am and all's quiet on the waterfront. I had a go at getting over, but the, the barbed wire stopped me. So you saw three blokes go in here and then you heard an explosion? Well, I saw the windows go first. No one's come out. No, uh, and it looks like this is the only way out. I'll get the cutters. We'll take a look. So what do you reckon they're doing in there? Stripping the joint, I think. They, they've been in here all week. If they're working inside, how is the gate locked? Keep people out, I guess. Yeah, but why? Keys are still in it. Anyone here? Force concrete. Take it easy, it might be more. Nothing more we can do for this black. His mates might be up there. Are you going up there? Get on the radio, call an ambulance. Yeah. Good thinking. Give me a hand. Are you all right? Get out of here! What was that? Mickey. Mickey. Jalignite. We better get some help. Radios might set the stuff off. Only if we're real close. We got a couple of meters. Rescue five to base. Yes, Mickey. We're inside the factory. We got one dead, two missing, maybe more. Looks like the place was being prepared for demolition. Have you got any idea what caused the explosion? No. You could check out the demolition company. Coleman Industries. Get them down here pronto. Okay. Detonators. We got detonators lying around here. We're gonna have to move real careful. Well, you better get out until we can get some experts down there and tell you what's going on. Sounds right to me. I'll send you back up. Let's get out of here. No arguments from me. You tread where I tread. Be real careful.
Police rescue! Where are you? Keep calling! Police rescue! Where are you? We've got two trapped and injured. We'll need the paramedics. Just take it easy, mate. It's all right. They're on their way, Georgia. Now listen, that whole place is plugged with mega gel. Over a thousand sticks of the stuff. The demolition company has confirmed they had three men working on the site. They're sending a team down there, but they say it's absolutely vital that you do not touch anything until they get there. Yeah, we'll leave it to them. You better get yourself down there. How oh, is he? I heard him call out before. But then I think I must have passed out. Uh, he's, he's unconscious, but he looks like he'll be all right. There's another one of us, Tony. He was working on the other side when the explosion hit. It's OK. We know where he is. What about you, Matty? How are you doing? My arm's caught. I think it's crust. The pain's pretty bad. Uh, not as bad as it was a while back. My name's Mickey. What's yours? Billy. Hey, Billy. Any idea what caused this explosion? Uh, well, up on the stanchions on this side, putting in the gel, and I heard Tony he yelled out, and before I could look up, the plug blew up and everything came down. <laughs> I've got three sticks of gelignite in front of me. Three sticks taped together with two detonator leads attached to a cable circuit? That's it. Can you get past them? No way. How is he? <laughs> His leg's impaled on a steel reinforcement rod. If we don't get him out soon, he'll bleed to death. Maybe there's somewhere we can make it inert. Let's hope so. We're going to have to move, Clem, before we get to Billy. Hey, Billy, how touch is this stuff? Uh, it's OK if you know how to handle it, right? Well, some of it blew up on your mate. Yeah, uh, but with faulty gel, there's no warning. Tony, he wouldn't have a chance to yell out. I heard him scream out. It was something else, for sure. Is there some way we can disarm it safely? Take out the detonator, then disconnect it from the cable circuit. You sure it's not faulty? Oh, God, I hope not. I'm under it, aren't I? Yeah, I guess you are. Can you talk me through this? Take it easy. You bet. Now, hold it firm so it don't slip. Get a good grip on them detonator lead wires, both of them. Pull slowly. Don't jerk. It's not coming. Pull harder. Harder. Okay. 
Now I'll disconnect the detonator wires from the cable circuit. Not a problem. Oh, well, that's good news. You boys do this every day, do you? <laughs> Only when we have to. Hey, hang on a sec. You crazy, didn't you get our message about not handling that stuff? Well, you're the expert. You can have them. They're my men in there. Yeah, I know how you feel. There are debts lying around. I don't want any more casualties. They all all right? Tony didn't make it, I'm sorry. <sighs> Tony was his best mate. What about Billy and Clem? Well, uh... Billy's arm's pinned, but he appears to be OK. Clem's not so good, he's unconscious. I don't know any more till I get closer. First thing I want to know is what caused that explosion. Stay on the mark path, you blokes. Where's Tony? You want us to find out what happened, don't you? I'll take you to him. Scott, you take a look around. I'll go and talk to Billy. his leg. He's lucky. He's just gone through muscle tissue. Otherwise, he would have lost a lot more blood. We're going to have to support that leg before we cut through. I wouldn't want to be in here if this light started shifting. Yeah, it's a real mess. Move any of this till we're sure there's no more gel in there. All it takes is a good hit on a plug and I'm... <laughs> it's a miracle it didn't happen when all this came out. Mickey? There are slots for 30 detonators. How many you found? Six. Keep looking. A thunderstorm's just what we don't need. You worried about lightning? One strike on this building and we're all gone. Lightning and uh, explosives just don't mix. Well, it sounds like it's quite a way up. Let's hope you're right. Hey, Billy. Hey. How you doing? G'day, boss. So you made it. Yeah. Yeah, me and Scott. Hey, Billy, can you can you tell us what happened? Well, it wasn't faulty, Joel. Tony yelled out a warning. There was something else. Didn't really get a chance to see what. Hey, Billy. These cops will have you and Clem out of there in no time. Hey, get out, Scott. Listen, mate, did any of you have a radio going? Anything that could give off an electrical discharge? No way, mate. We're not mugs. Okay, mate. This 
four plugs went up, but it's impossible to say which one initiated the blast. Luckily, they weren't connected to the bell circuit, or the whole place would have gone up. What do you reckon? A faulty detonator? Could be, but usually if they're faulty, they just fizz. They uh, fail to initiate. Uh, look, um, maybe Tony got careless. Not Tony. Well, what else could it be? We stripped the power mains out of here a week ago. Human error. Oh, we don't know, not for sure. But it's my guess. Sorry, Scud. What else could it be? Something else. How come they were using old electrical dents? Oh, just a few. We ran out of detonating cord. Just a few. Just to finish up, that's all. Tony didn't like using old electrical dents. Nobody does. Okay. That's it, we're through. As soon as you're through, we'll start lifting. Listen, a mobile crane will be a lot faster than these jacks, probably safer too. Yeah, I know that, Angel. We can't risk it with all these debts lying around. It's not going to be easy. Well, uh, get up there and check those girders. Might have to rig a chain hoist. Hey, Billy. Clem's doing fine. We'll have you out in no time, mate. Put on here. Yeah. I don't want to miss my chance in the nets tonight. You got batting practice? No way. Left arm wrist spin. Oh, yeah? Can you bowl a Chinaman? That's my best ball. Mate, they jump at you from nowhere. <laughs> yeah. My arm will be all right, won't it? Billy, you'll be taking more wickets than Shane Warne. Explosion? Well, the boss seems to think it was human error, but they can't be sure. Well, that makes it simpler for us. We've got a real problem getting Billy out. We move one, the lock could come down. This is Clem. He's got to go first. Yeah, it's a real log jam, isn't it? We're starting to work our way in with the jacks. Okay, but take it slowly. Yeah. Hey, be careful up there! Checking to see if it'll take the weight. No way. They've all been cut. Almost all the way through. All of them? Yeah. Helps bring the place down, you know, like a house of cards. That's reassuring. <laughs> Big wind to blow this place down. Hey, hold it! Thank you, mate. I told you we needed more detonating cord, but you didn't want to hear it. Yeah, well, I thought we had enough. Like hell, you had these old electrical debts in stock and you just wanted to use them up, you lousy mongrel. I ought to give it to you right enough. I'll take that. Should have been him, not Tony. What's his problem? Ah, oh, he's upset. 
Reckons he has to blame someone. Nothing else? Well, I'm in here too, aren't I? Take it easy. Slowly. Nice and slowly, he's come up. That's it. back here. Well, it couldn't have been human error this time. I never thought it was. What are the chances of more explosions? We ought to get out of here. What, leave Billy and Clem? Us getting blown up's not going to help them. What do you think? Until we know what's causing the explosions, it's kind of hard to say. Oh, don't kid yourself. It's happened twice. It'll happen again. Those electrical debts are, are touchy. Well, how many of them are there? A couple of hundred. You said just a few. Look, I'm not going to be held responsible if anything goes wrong. We need your expertise. <laughs> you can't make me stay here. Stay on the site! He'd be no good to us anyway. Me and Tony worked for him for ten years. Just goes to show you can never know people. I cannot commit my squad if this place is going to explode. So I need to know what other chances. Can't tell you. Both explosions were isolated. I'm going to have a go at finding out what's doing. Can we disarm the job? You volunteering? You show us, we'll do it. You're on. How long? Maybe an hour to cut all the circuits down here. And what about up there? It's not on. Someone! Yeah, Billy? Hey, what's happening? We're willing to give it a try. I still think we can do it. Very good. What are you doing, Billy? Sounded like an argument. No, it's just a bit of a team talk. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but Del's a bit of a worry. Yeah, it is. Listen, Billy, we're going to have another go at it. Um, you yell if anything moves, all right? Yeah, don't you worry about that. Is, um, Boston Skull still here? Yeah, of course he's still here. Couldn't leave you, mate. I want an emergency medical team here on standby. A disaster team? The full team. This is a detonating cord. You can see we wrap it around the plug instead of using electrical detonators. It's faster and it's safer. You can cut it to uh, break the circuit and isolate the plug, but don't hit it or it'll blow up in your face. Keep doing that until we've lifted all the plugs on this floor. We use electrical debts to initiate the cord.
don't muck with these and do not cut the electrical circuit. They're not connected to a power source, but you can create enough static electricity to fire the debt. If you find one of these, call me. Easy, easy. It's all yours. Clem's out, Billy. He's on his way to hospital. Your innings. You gonna lift it off me? Yeah. You can bet on that. Lock and tackle? Yeah. If we spread the weight over a few of these stanchions. It's worth a try. Any clues as to what's causing it? Oh, it pretty much has to be electrical discharge to fire the debts. Well, how can that be? Coleman said you strip the electricity mains out of here. Yeah, it's the first thing we do. So where's it coming from? Phantom power main. One that's been buried and forgotten. What, you can lose a power main? Yep, no problems. These old joints, they get uh, rebuilt so often, the guts torn out, new plants drawn up. It's easy for somebody to miss uh, market in an old power main. Or maybe they were meant to be taken out and never were. It happens. But if there was power coming in here, Sydney Electricity should know about it, right? Yeah, maybe. We've had phantom mains before they didn't know about. I'll check it out. The boss, Coleman, he made the arrangements. He had the plans. You don't trust him? Tracking down a phantom main would have lost him a lot of time. Cost a packet. We are talking about people's lives here. The company's been losing a lot of money. Glenn, Sydney Electricity says they cut the power to all overhead mains and as far as they can tell, there's no power going in there. What about a phantom power line? They say it's possible, but not likely. Have they got any plans they can check to see if there are any underground lines? They're doing it now. They'll get back to us. The sooner the better, mate. I checked with work cover. It's their job to check the site, but they weren't aware that the factory is being demolished. So we've got ourselves an illegal demolition. That's right. We can do it, but no one's around. Going somewhere, pal. Now I need some straight answers. Do this for a living? After today? I don't know. Coleman didn't tell Sydney Electricity or Work Cover this was a demolition job. Bastard. That roof is packed with asbestos. He's going to save himself several hundred thousand dollars by bringing it all down in one hit. I knew he was in trouble, but not that bad. Well, one of you had to plug the roof with explosives. Someone had to know about that asbestos. Tony, he did the roof. Well, why'd he go along with it? He was scared Coleman was going to go bust and he'd lose everything. Long service leave, super severance pay the lot. Ten years of hard work down the drain. But what about his family? You've got to get Coleman for this. We're ready to go. If you need me, I'll be up there. How you doing? All clear. I need you down below. Okay. Glad to be rid of this stuff.
It lasted this long. Get the hoist down, we'll rig it someplace else. Might be an idea to get the trauma team on standby. I'll get them. Well, that went all right. We don't muck around. I'll say. Long now, mate. Uh, Glenn, I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but Sydney Electricity says that uh, there are no underground power lines going into the factory. They're sure about that? Well, the plans show that they took them out in 1963, uh, and that's all they've been going on. They couldn't have missed one? They doubt it. If they did take a day, maybe longer to dig around and look for it. We've got a problem. I wish I had a better answer for you. Yeah, so do I. We'll handle it. Thanks, Bill. There's no underground power, mate. This then. Got it. The power's coming in from that side, and uh, the wires are hitting the girders and turning them into conductors. Can you insulate it? Try and stop me. Mug, put this in. Can you feel me squeezing? Yeah, but it's pretty numb. Wriggly fingers for me. That's good, Billy. How's he going? Badly crushed, but there doesn't seem to be any long-term damage. The nerves are okay, he's still got some circulation, and the muscle tissue should recover. Do you absolutely need to stay with him? Because I've got to keep numbers in here to a minimum. No, really, I think I should stay, just in case. We're ready. Stay out of the way. Looks like it's been there all of 50 years. You fix it, do you reckon? Should do. I've never seen a phantom like that before. It's old and worn, real old and real worn. Take it up! Keep going. That's the way. Keep it coming. Hold it. Your turn. Beauty.
I'm coming in. Go! Stay where you are until I make sure it's safe. Here. Let me. Thanks, Doc. Give me that tape. No, you're needed here. Good man. No, just crazy, I reckon. Billy? Billy, can you hear me? Take it easy, Billy. No one's leaving you. to use two of them. I wouldn't trust them to take a lot of weight. We got no choice. We use the stanchions to take the strain, we use the jacks to lift. If we use the jacks, there is a risk of the stanchions slipping. Yeah, they only got to take the strain, though. Otherwise, we're in trouble. One way to find out. Left lung's punctured. Most likely a broken rib. Trouble is, I can't get to his left side. So he's worse than we thought. Much sooner he gets to hospital, the better. I've insulated the wires, but there's no way we can be sure they're not breaking further along. You can't stop the leaks? Not while it's carrying current. Are you telling me this building can still blow? Any minute. Mickey, we're right out of time. Just about ready. It's your call. You take the strain. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy. and we'll have him out. We can give it one more go. Only has to take the strain. Right, one more go. Give me one minute. If it was necessary, could you amputate? I thought you were going to get him out quickly. We're still trying, but if you had to do it, could you do it? Look, he could get full use of that arm again. So I'd have to be convinced there was no alternative, and I mean absolutely. We are giving it one more go, but I cannot put people at risk any longer. This building is alive with electricity, and it could blow at any second. Look, Sergeant, I understand the dangers, and but I don't make a decision like this every day now. Could you do it? He'd need a lot of pain relief. He'd lose a lot of blood. Time would be crucial. We'd get him out quickly. I mean, immediately. He could do it. Well, whatever happens, it's his decision. He has to understand why and give his consent. Do you want me to talk to him? No, we'll do it. I'll be there. You realise we're putting your team at risk? Yeah. Thank you. Let's do it. Doctor. 
What am I doing? One more guy. One more. That's it. Find the mask. And that stuff. Take it easy, Billy. Don't panic. We're going to have another go at lifting this stuff off. No! Please! Scott! Scott! Listen, Billy. Billy. Where are you? You're making it worse, Billy. No! Don't let them touch me! Scott? Scott's coming. Just take it easy. I gotta cut my arm off. The only way we can save your life, Billy, is to get you out from under this. You said you were gonna lift it off me. There's a chance we mightn't be able to do it. Not without all this falling on you. Listen to me, Billy. I know this is a terrible thing you're facing. But we're talking about your life. We're talking about the only way to save your life. You've worked here. You know the situation. We've got a building that's falling down around us. We've got an electricity leak that we can't contain. You know the situation. Is that right, Scott? He's given it to you straight, Billy. You heard the explosions. We're going to give it our best shot. But if we run out of time, we'll need your consent. You'll say, here with me. You bet I'll stay with you. All right. You hang in there, mate. Take it up. Nice and easy. Go, go. 